Hi. To be honest with you, I've fallen out of bullet journaling in the crazy year that has been 2020. But I've decided to try and pick it up again in 2021 to bring my life some much needed structure. To make this as simple as possible, I've made this yearly setup using only one black fine liner and a ruler. So please join me, grab a cup of coffee or tea and maybe your own journal and get ready to make this 2021 set up with me. As you can see, I've already sketched out the spreads we are going to do today in pencil to make filming this a lot easier on myself. But let's start at the beginning and make an index. I start out writing my title in a bigger font and then continue filling in the rest of my page. You can use your index page to keep track of all your spreads in your journal. For now, I'm just filling in the spreads we are setting up today. This includes a key page, our year at a glance, a goals page, a yearly habit tracker, a YouTube tracker, a cleaning schedule, and a layout grid page for future bullet journal spreads. I'm also adding the page numbers that I will be adding to the pages later. Next is my title page. A simple 2021 will do. I did sketch out four boxes for the numbers to keep them nice and even. I also tried to make all my diagonal lines go parallel to each other to give it a neat and uniform look. Let's move on to our key. I'm writing my title in a simple cursive before moving on to the rest of my page. Here you can put any symbol you use throughout your bullet journal to make note taking easier and quicker. The symbols I'm adding are task, task completed, task migrated, task cancelled, an event or appointment, a note, something to explore, and finally a memory. Three pages done already. I told you I was keeping this very simple. Now we're moving on to the year at a glance. Mine is actually going to take up six pages because I noticed that I used mine a lot previously and I prefer to have my spreads with a bit of extra space. This is the place where you can basically take a quick note of anything you have planned in the future. For me, this includes anything from birthdays, holidays, dentist appointments to work related stuff. It will get put here and I will reference this spread a lot when I set up my monthly and weekly spreads. To make this spread, I write down all the months of the year and write mini calendars underneath that with the days of the week on top. To the left of the calendars are the week numbers because I often find those very handy to know too. Underneath each calendar is space for all the things I want to list later on when I'm actually using this journal. You can also choose to do this spread on less pages and with less room. I've even seen people fit this spread on one page. It all depends on what you would like to use it for. How many pages do you guys use for your year at a glance? I'm actually really curious to see what you guys do. So please let me know down below. Now we are on to our goal page. Once again, we're keeping it simple. We're using three boxes on the left side, each for a different type of goal. I will fill these in later. And on the right side, I'm making one big box that I will use to break down my bigger goals into smaller goals and make notes on any progress I make during the year. Next is my yearly habit tracker. This is a new one for me, as I used to do monthly habit trackers. This is also quite a tedious one to set up, but I think it will be worth it because it means no more setting up monthly habit trackers. So let's hope that it will save me some time in the long run. Also I hope it makes my journal less tedious to keep up when I have less time to do so. I start with writing the numbers 1 through 31 down the left side of my page and then write the first letter of each of the month at the top of these for my basic grid. Then there come a lot of vertical lines to separate each of the month. 
You could also add horizontal lines to divide each day, but I was honestly too lazy. At the top of each table, I put the thing I was tracking, like exercise, and if necessary, a little key to mark different entries. Repeat this as often as needed, and you are done with this spread. Next up is my YouTube tracker, which is basically a different variation of a yearly tracker, but instead of tracking daily, I'm tracking monthly this time. Under the top, we once again have the months, while I've put the stuff I would like to keep track of on the left. On the bottom half of my page, I have plenty of room left over for notes and goals that I set myself this year. On to the next page, my cleaning schedule. Here I'm writing down a basic cleaning schedule to hopefully remind myself to keep on track with cleaning as well. I've split it up in stuff for me to do daily, weekly, monthly and yearly. I also split the weekly stuff up in which day I'd like to do certain stuff, so I don't have to end up doing all the weekly stuff in one day, something which has definitely happened before. I also plan to make a spread which is basically when did I last, like when did I last clean my fridge or when did I last clean my cabinets, but I haven't done that page yet, so maybe we'll see it somewhere in the future. Now we're finally on to our final page. This setup is almost done. This is going to be the page that we can refer to when we're setting up our future spreads. So I've added a complete numbering on both horizontal and vertical axes, so I don't have to count the boxes each time I want to make a new spread. And also I added different size dividers to my page. It's a bit hard, but imagine if I want to set up a spread with three horizontal boxes. I can check this spread to see how big they should be, without actually having to measure stuff out. Now to finish this all up, I just have to get rid of those pencil marks. So if you're like me and use the pencil before you use the pen, it's time to grab your eraser and go over everything we just did. While I'm erasing, I'm also adding my page numbers since I forgot to do that earlier. Make sure you be careful when erasing your pencil markings because you'll see in a bit what happens when you don't. I ended up basically tearing up, I guess a quarter of my page? And since I'm way too lazy to do that page again, I'm gonna try and fix it by just gluing over a card, which you can see in a bit. But it's not gonna be the prettiest fix, to be honest. Anyway, like I said, just be careful when you're erasing in your bullet journal because you don't want to do what I just did. So yeah, that was basically my 2021 setup. Hopefully this will motivate me to actually keep up my bullet journal. I try to make myself some low effort spreads that do give me a lot of satisfaction to fill out throughout the year, so we'll see how I keep it up. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this and it got you either some motivation or maybe some inspiration for your own bullet journal, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!